Garrett Hickling was a typical Kelowna teenager. He played almost every sport he could and dreamed of making it big in sports one day, maybe in hockey or football. But at the age of 16, those dreams were all but wiped out when he and two others fell off a 300-foot cliff. A good friend died, the other injured, and Garrett broke his neck. It was very tough over the years, you know, uh, but a lot of family support and friend support. I was very active in sports and to not even be able to participate in any sports at first, I was, I didn't know what I was going to do. And uh, BC Wheelchair Sports helped me out and got me involved. Tried, tried me in every sport they could just to see which ones I liked. Once a highly active teenager heavily involved in sports, now what? Confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Garrett turned to sports once more. He climbed into his chair to try wheelchair rugby and never looked back. The rugby family community is, uh, everyone just seems to get behind everyone 110% with their support, um, whether they're newly injured or senior veteran. And being active in a high caliber sport too, uh, being able to hit people is a definite bonus. Players are assigned points based on degree of disability and teams cannot exceed eight points. That means the pressure was always on Garrett because he alone took up almost half the points allowed. I am a quadriplegic and it is a sport for quadriplegic, so I was one of the higher classifications on the panel. Um, and I myself is, am three and a half points, so the other three guys have to equal the other four and a half points. When you are a three, three and a half, you do have to step up and um, cover the position of half the team basically at times. Perform he did. Four Paralympic game medals, and five world championship medals, including two gold. But wearing the Canadian colors is one thing. Being Canada's flag bearer at the 2012 Paralympic Games in London was something else. It's a, almost a dream beyond a dream, you know, I, but I will hold that flag high and probably smile the whole time. It was phenomenal. I don't know, words are tough to describe it. You know, it did take me a while to realize what is happening. Um, 10 seconds before we wheeled into the crowd at the stadium that it actually hit me in. Just the feeling and the, it was just astronomical, it just felt awesome. From those early dark days as a teenager adapting to a wheelchair and the realization of never walking again to a world champion and Canadian flag bearer, life took some interesting turns for Garrett Hickling. And now he's passing along his experiences to others just beginning their new journey in a chair. I've noticed over the years how much it's improved their everyday life skills more independence upon themselves, even being able to get in and out of the bathtub by themselves, you know. Um, all the guys teach the other guys little tricks and trades and that, that they've learned over the years, and I've seen people, like their life and their smile on their face more and more every day.